Okay, thank you very much for watching. My name is Omar Jaju and this is The Chronicle. We are here today to talk to Mr. Pamboob. Uh, Pamboob is a visual impaired Gambian artist doing so much great, endowed with the top, top, top voice. And uh, uh, today our discussion will be centered on his career. Where did he start and how did he get into music? And uh, where does he want to see himself in the future as far as his career as a musician is concerned? Uh, Mr. Boob, thank you for granting us this interview here. Thank you for having me, Omar. I, uh, I am saying um, good evening to the world. Uh, I will say greetings to the world because of the different time zones. But uh, yeah, welcome to the Coral Beach uh, with, with uh, me and thanks for having me. Superb. Uh, when did you start doing music? I started um, music in school. Um, I could remember in uh, school for the blind. At school for the blind, I started with a uh, with the with the school group where we are having a school group there. And then from there, I happened to be a very good cultural singer in these uh, local circumcision ceremonies. Likewise, religious programs to at least uh, grace the birthday celebration of the Holy Prophets in bracket Gamos. Mm -hmm. I used to join, you know, a daira called Daira Ashin to do Gamo with them. I am, you know, also, uh, I also joined, you know, different groups you know, in Gambia, you know, I have passed through many uh, music and cultural outlets, you know, working with people like Kotongom, Kebatelo, you name it, lots of big artists in Gambia. And uh, I did my first production with Studio Galan uh, Recording Studio and also um, the Sound City Recording, uh, the Sound City label, you know, yeah. So, uh, did you learn music? Uh, what get you into music? Do you have family members who do music? Yes, I did my, as I told you, I did my basics at the School for the Blind. The basic training I did at the School for the Blind. But the rest, I hustled it myself. And uh, to buttress on family issues in music, I am, if I am from a griot family. And uh, the prominent people I may call, you know, part of this interview who are, Relatives of mine could be Musa Afiangom, Laba Sose, yeah, and even Jaliba Kuyate in the matrilineal side, you know, is an uncle to me because of uh, her mother and uh, my mom's mother, you know, they are cousins. So, uh, in summary, you know, I'm from a Giriot family and, you know, of course, gifted in the field I am in at the moment. How does it feel to be a visually impaired artist growing up? Yeah, I feel comfortable, though it's not easy, you know, being a visually impaired, um, coming up in a society where, you know, some people may understand you and some people may not. But I always, you know, accept any challenge and I struggle to the fullest to see through it that I am in their eyes. Anyway. What challenges do you face normally? Yeah, I'm a... The challenges of uh, yeah, maybe not traveling, I may say, but um, the challenges of stigmatization to some people who doesn't understand, you know, mm. um, um, what what it entails to be a visually impaired. Mm. Okay, only those challenges, I may say, 
but I have no family challenge or, you know, um, an individual challenge. It's, it's, it's very limited. The challenges are very limited anyway. So how do you overcome those challenges? I overcome those challenges because of I am rehabilitated. I am trained from the school for the blind. I did my mobility training there, my reading and writing courses there, and then happened to be in, um, um, integrated to the basic mainstream from primary to secondary school, then to high school, then to the rest of the courses pursued. Yeah, so I am very comfortable anyway. Mm, mm, mm. Which among your songs yeah. will you say it's a hit song and any time we just want to play it every time? Huh? Anyway, um, I did many songs that were hit songs, but uh, that I did with uh, Sound City, mm. I love the most because of it has a perfect and professional recording. Mm. And uh, that song is part of a compilation of which many artists, you know, participated. Many, many renowned artists participated. Mm. Yeah. So which year was this? Um, uh, of which I may forget <laughs> because, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit long time ago. But the track title was Halebi and it was part of the album Under 20 of Sound City. The Sound City's Under 20 album. It was the year that the Under 20 was selected to go and represent Gambia um, at the World Cup. Mm. Yeah, mm. I forgot the year, but... 2009? 2009. 2009, of course, yes. Yeah. yeah, so let's talk about also your music career. Uh -huh. I mean, you're doing so much great. I've watched your performance here at Coral. Yes. Good voice. Okay. I mean, one has to attest to that fact. Yeah. Uh, but uh, where do you want to see your music go from here? <laughs> Before getting into where I want to see my music goes to, I would say that uh, this was courtesy of the Gambia Acoustic Boys. This group that uh, have, the, the group I joined to do this, the music performances is called the Gambia Acoustic Boys. It was founded by two brothers, um, Boss Juve is the band leader and Aliu Juve is the proprietor of the Gambia Acoustic Boys. Then we have our guitarist. Our, our, our bass player, who, the guitarist is Jaco Pereira, the bass player is uh, George Meyer, George Babukar Meyer. And we have other two, we have other two female participants. We, we, we've done uh, this performance together with the Gambi Acoustic Boys. And if I may um, tell you that uh, this group is basing on the hotel industry. And where I want to see my music career is to get to where all musicians, you know, want to see themselves, to be, you know, playing festivals, to be, you know, having, you know, good deals overseas and, you know, in the Gambia here, yeah. if, if possible. That's where I want to see myself, yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Mbou, yes. for your time. It has been a short one, but uh, very educative and informative. Thank, Thank you so you much.